Hi again. Um, so we just jumped off the Actors Conference page and onto my personal page. Um, we had a little bit of uh, technical difficulty trying to get Matthew Barry online. So um, anyway, as we wait for him, um, I wanted to just chit chat with you about headshots. I had a really great session um, last week, Thursday, with one of my good buddies, Malik Baloney, who's out here from um, Louisiana. Uh, he's a, a photographer. And, you know, I, I asked him, you know, let's do some fun test shots and see how these go. And we, um, we went out and we took a lot of great headshots for myself and a couple other gals who came. And um, it was a really interesting experience. Um, one of the things about taking a headshot is you really have to be specific about what you're doing. Um, I remember a headshot session with a photographer in L.A., who gave me a lot of homework, and um, and then um, oh, Matt is texting me. Um, so I we're we're here live, Matt. So if I tagged you. If you see us, um, I will get to send you an invite. In fact, I'll do that right now. So hopefully it's clear. Um, let's see, I'll do it on both pages and there. And hopefully you see that pop up on your phone. Um, so what what she had given me, this photographer in LA, um, the homework was to go and do some research on the type of um, casting that I would be involved in. You know, like what would be my, um, not just my type, but who are the people out there, the actors out there that I would be in the same audition room with, going for the same roles. And so um, that took me a couple of days to just really scroll through different, um, actresses and understand, you know, my personality, their personality, the roles that are written for that, um, the looks, um, what was I really interested in, what did I want to go out for, it, it was a whole lot of homework. And so um, she had asked me to go and look at their headshots from a few years back before they, you know, were very active um, active actors, you know, working actors, and um, on these high profile shows. So I did that. And I came back with, you know, all these different um, just stylized pictures, headshots, life, um, lifestyle uh, pictures of them. And um, I would put them together and try and understand, well, what is, what were they communicating? And so um, I took that information, um, literally like what they were wearing, and um, the styles, with the settings that they were placed in, um, the backdrops they used, and um, we had a discussion about all that information. And um, then even and then the clothes were, were a big factor in um, in helping me decide. Uh, uh, hang on a second, Matt. Let me go ahead and do this again. Um, Matthew. Um, so anyway, the. Um, the, uh, the information that I, I had um, helped me to decide on the clothes that I would wear and the looks that I was trying to achieve. So we sat down and we talked about all this stuff. And out we went out on a session um, for about three hours and came back and we, we, I had a chance to look at some of the photos through her, uh, her camera and they were really amazing. But all that homework made me realize how specific I had to be in what I wanted to get from a headshot session. So I spoke with my friend Malik who understood exactly what I was trying to achieve and I showed him a lot of pictures and websites and you know things that worked for other people and how we could focus in on that and um, and he took it and he ran and he we had three no I'm sorry five wonderful young actors and um, and they turned out amazing. So later on, maybe this week, we'll go ahead and publish some of them, and you could see what um, what, what worked for them, and uh, and of course what worked for me. Um, and of course, lighting is is almost everything. <laughs> we went out and and found some really great spots to do natural lighting, and even here in the studio. So I'm going to try and get Matthew on, and if if it doesn't work, um, I'm going to call him like I did. We did with a couple other people. Um, Jeffrey um, Hardwick was one of them. And um, what do I, do now? Um, I do now to connect. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to note to him. There should be a 
uh, a little hand waving at you at the bottom of your screen. So, um, you know what? I thought this was a new um, feature on Facebook. It's been around for a little over a year, and um, and I'm just having fun with it this year. Uh, but I don't think other people are. <laughs> so, um, I think there may be a, there may be a menu for you to join me. Is there a button? It should be on the bottom of your phone. Of your phone. Sometimes I think, you know, maybe we should just test drive this, but then everybody um, would see we're test, testing this out. Um, so if anybody has some advice on how to use um, Facebook Live a little better, you know, PM me or join us, or maybe we should have, nope, okay. So how about I call you and then, um, or Face time you but I think maybe if I FaceTime you I might get disruption like I did with um, let's see with um, with uh, what happened with with the internet the Wi-Fi so um, let's see let me try and get you on why don't I just call you Uh, your okay. FaceTime does not come up with you. Oh wait. Oh shoot. You know I'm on seventeen percent. <laughs> Hi. I just call you. See, this is this is a little late now. This is weird because you're saying why did not I just call me? I'm, oh, yeah. I'm there. So oh, is it really? way too late? So I gotta I gotta mute you mute you there. Yeah, no. This is this is uh, this is what uh, this is what it looks like from, from uh, my screen. See, there's there's no. Oh no. Okay, wait. There is. Yeah, there is nothing on there. Okay. Right. How weird. And you can't even join. There's not like a menu on your screen to even join me. Like you can't even tap into that. So here, I'm gonna. Oh, I can't even. I can't even type a comment. See if I if I write a comment, you know, it, it doesn't even doesn't even go through. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't even show. But I have a few viewers, so can, I'm just going to flip you, and hopefully they can see you. Um, there, this is weird. And uh, <laughs> let's see if I can, like, not have reflection for you. Da -da -da. Yeah. No. Okay. So, anyway, we'll figure this out probably in um, a year. And um, see, there's Matthew. He's coming up in August, you guys. Um, you've been coming up for a while. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's been, it's been, oh my God. Oh, I look, I'm, I'm pretty good looking. It's good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I've had, I've had an absolute blast. I mean, there's a lot of great talent up in San Francisco and they're starting to come down here and they're starting to look wonderful. Yeah. Uh, and that, that's the, that's the goal. I mean, if I have the time, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to come, I'm going to come up and teach you guys. And, and I have a great time and, and Rosie has just provided, you know, a studio um, that's just been fantastic to to teach and i have great students and they're hard working and they're eager and i've just had a blast so as long as i'm having fun i'm going to keep coming up <laughs> it, it's um for me it's been a really eye-opening experience i you know auditioning is um i i feel like in the last year i really understood the difference between auditioning and actually working as an actor on set or yeah. um, in, you know, in a play or just, you know, just working out material, it's entirely different. And for those of you who haven't, um, I think it, it has to do it with a lot of uh, just exposure and practice um, to doing the audition process. And that's what you focus in on. So um, one, thank you. I would have, I probably would have never have picked that up until much later in life. Does that make sense? If I didn't have it every week, to just go in and go, okay, what am I focusing in on this part? What am I doing? How am I doing this? Um, and just do it, just constantly do it over and over and over and over. Um, so it, it, there's there's two different aspects. There's, there's there's acting and there's auditioning, which are two completely different animals. And uh, the auditioning process. Sorry, I've got an itch in my nose. I don't start cocaine, really, really, I don't. <laughs> um, uh, 
the, 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 the process is completely different. You know, we, we have our, we have, when we act, we have our talents, we have our theater training, we have, you know, what, what we've been taught. And, but the, the audition process is, is really a completely different and it's how you get the job. And that's one thing that, that I focus on is having been a casting director for over two decades. It's what I, what I focus on to try and help you get the job. Yeah. And there's so many more avenues to getting your audition in now. Um, I feel like, you know, this is a great um, class and you, you taught how to do self taping. And, you know, I always thought self taping was, well, just go get your camera phone, just do it and send it. But there's so much more to it. And um, because you, I'm sure you get a, a ton of them, right? Uh, now, oh, yeah. now that this is available. Um, yeah. And there are ways and uh, I don't want to say strategies, but I can't think of another word. There are things that you can do as an actor in your self tape to make it really effective. And you taught that too. So how much of it is out there that, um, how, how many audition, like percentage wise, do you get through self taping? It's, it's getting more and more. I mean, even as, as, as a theatrical manager now, you know, I get requests for self tapes all the time. As a matter of fact, I have, I have two as soon as I hang up with, with, with you guys um, for major shows. And there's just so many people in a day that the casting director can see. And it's so much easier to make a quick decision on a self tape. And so if you see a well produced, well Put together self tape. Um, it's 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 paramount to getting you the job. And what the great the great thing about the self tape is, you're not nervous because you're not being judged in a room by a person. You're on your own with the cameraman and hopefully and a reader, and you're 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 doing it by yourself. So there's so so it's a, it's, it's a lot more relaxed. It's a lot more comfortable. Uh, and if it's well done, it's it's fantastic. And a lot of people have been hired by self tape. Uh, I just had I just had a, a, a one last week where for a major 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 uh, TV show, and they were looking for something very specific an 18 year old transgender if you can believe that, and one of my students could uh, portray that, and he was down in North Carolina. And I told him how to do it, and he did it. He did it very well, you know, on an iPhone, um, and and he was highly considered it went to producers and he was one of one of a, a couple of choices for the for the role mm -hmm. so you, it, it is it is so important to perfect the the self tape and to do it right and to do it well to have it you know well lit. don't do it against a white wall you know do it against a dark wall uh have it well lit uh, mm -hmm. make sure the volume is is, is well and then the, the hard part is you know when you have a reader is standing next to the phone, their voice is louder than your voice. So you got to yeah. be careful that the reader is far away enough so that he's not he or she is not overpowering you on your audition. Uh, make sure uh -huh. you stay focused. Keep focused to the camera. Uh, grab your audience. Don't let them go. And uh, and you're on your way. And you never know. That's the whole thing. You you never know. A lot of people have been hired by by self tapes. Uh, Adam. One of my, uh, if you if you watch the the uh, Mindhunter TV series, um, mm -hmm. he would be the guest star killer on the tenth episode, and literally had a fourteen minute scene uh, in in his opening scene, and when when uh, when we put him on tape, it was about eight pages of dialogue. He had it all memorized. We shot it well, and he got the job wow. just based on that self tape. It wound up. It wound up really launching his career and, and getting him a lot of a lot of work. That. that was all from self tape. Wow. So you know, you, you bring up a point about um, memorizing and um, knowing your lines. I think a lot of people have questions on that because there's there's a lot of uh, opinions about being off book when you go into an audition. So self taping is an audition, right? And um, totally you're in your control. So what do you say about you would suggest that or not? Well, I mean, here's the thing. There's, I've had, you know, a lot of casting directors in my in my studio here, and <laughs> I always I always ask them a series of questions, and to get a consensus of, of what they what they what they like. Uh, fifty percent say off book. Fifty percent say you know have it in your hand because it's it's your it's your comfort comfort zone. 
uh, you, you really have to know the casting director, and that's a hard thing. It's like, well, what if I've never been in the casting director before? Well, you got you got to ask around. I mean, that's what I'm here for. You know, ask. It's like, does this person do this? Does this person do that? And you quickly you quickly realize. I always say it's better to be off book. I don't mind saying, if you're an actor and you drop a line, just say line. Just say line. It's better. To, Can I start again? I, we all hate that. Don't start oh, okay. again. Keep going. Just say line. It's not going to hurt you. You think it does, but it doesn't. You just say line. If you if you look at the, uh, uh, Aaron Paul's audition for uh, Breaking Bad, in the middle of it, it says line. He's in character. He said line. I got a line and got the job. So okay, it's much it's much better than saying you know can I start over. <laughs> got it. You know I, I I never seen that audition tape. I'm I, so you can find that on YouTube. Yeah. Got it. Got it. That's um that that, that YouTube is a great resource. I th I think some of us forget to use great. it. Yeah. Great. There's so much out there. All you have to do is just put in the name or title or whatever, and you'll all this stuff will pop up. But you know, I, I, I you know what? I'm going to go ahead and find that, and I'll put that on this link so people can see what you're talking about, and yeah. um, and also um, your other your other student. Just see if I can find that as well and put that um, information in in one of the comments down here. So yeah. um, uh, his name is Adam William Zastro. Got it. Yeah, I see him all the time on your page. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's a terrific actor. He, he, look, he looks like a your typical drug addict meth head, and he's just a fantastic guy from from Wisconsin, you know. And, and he and he came out here to play all those roles, so and, and he's certainly getting. It. Oh, that's that's awesome! Wow, and, and that's a, um, how, how long ago? I'm just curious uh, about his career. Like, how long ago did he come out? Um, I mean, I know that you shouldn't have any expectation as far as like time frame. I always hear people say that well i'm going to give myself two years and haul you know down in la and things don't turn out i'll just do something else or whatever what, how, what do you what do you say to people when they think like that well here's you know, here's the, here's the thing if you if you say i'm going to give it two years you've already defeated yourself the goal is to to fulfill your dreams and sometimes it takes a while uh adam came out here uh about four years ago and he trained. He he does. He did it properly. He came out here and he trained for a year before he started going out. Well, he was well trained. He started working a little bit, which gave him the confidence. And of course, then the last two years, he's just been booking like crazy. And and he, he just booked a, a series uh, on HBO. Uh, it's about to be put, picked up by HBO. And it, it's it's he was smart to, to, to train like you know I've met some some people up in San Francisco they've come down here mm -hmm. and they're like you know can I get an agent and I'm like you're not ready you know you really need some more training you need to build that confidence I, I always say I always for my students I always say and it's it's pretty ironic that I know when they're ready when I don't like them anymore because they because they come into my <laughs> office and they've got a swagger you know and they've got to like you know. You know, I own this place, and I'm like, who the hell do you think you are? But it's also I know that they're they're ready because they've got that, you know, that confidence. You can't, I can't teach it. You can't teach it. No, no teacher mm -hmm. can't teach it. Paul can't teach it. You know, George can't teach it. Yeah. We can't, we can't teach your aura. We can't teach your 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 confidence. And 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 that's what that's what you really need. That's really half the battle is is, is having your 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 confidence. Yeah. Uh, I agree. I've been, you know, I, I, I've been working towards that, but in a different area, you know, we're working on just doing it, going out and doing it like this Facebook live. Yeah. The first time I did it. Oh my gosh. It was, <laughs> I, I hated it. Um, I was horrified. Um, but, uh, I was encouraged to do it again and then again and then again. And then, you know, just it evolved really yeah. shortly, but you have to go out and do it and, and training, getting into a room with, you know, like you or or George or Paul, you start to understand the mindset and how things work and 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 how you work. And I think that's really the key is just to understand, put yourself in a position to understand yourself best and um, under these conditions and you will gain confidence. It's it's vital. I mean, you can't, there's so many things out there that make you um, cringe and turn around and go home and change your mind. and. And there, there's probably more things, more voices in your head that would trigger that versus those that contribute to your confidence. So, well, I, I had an old acting teacher years ago tell me that every year, a hundred thousand people come out from all over, you know, seeking, you know, fame and fortune. And after the first year, ten thousand are left. 
After the second year, a hundred are left. After the third year, th third year, you know, ten are left, and those are the ten that make it because they stuck it out. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Star Wars, uh, Harrison Ford, uh -huh. you know, was thirty-five years old when he made it, and he kept. He was around forever. He was a carpenter, but he stuck it out, and he always said, "I just, I just didn't get off the bus." You know, for the for the women, you know, they they, they hit their their thirties and they go, "Oh well, you know, I should get married and settle down and have kids," and it's not really happening, and. They, they blew their opportunity. It's you have to, you have to, you have to understand. Hollywood is a very very small community. It's a very tight knit community, mm -hmm. and everybody's trying to trying to get in. And you have to you have to earn your trust. You, we, we, you casting directors are not going to just throw you and go. Oh yeah, you're a wonderful actor. Uh, let me throw you in front of in front of the, the the director of this million dollar project or this million dollar TV series, uh, and 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 hope that you're going to be okay. No, you have to earn that trust with everybody, with the casting band. Everybody talks, the, the showrunners, the editors. That's where most of your repeat business comes from are the showrunners and the editors and anybody who talks and says, oh, this guy cuts well, or this guy is terrific, this guy is great on set. Oh, my God, hire, hire him or her. They had their lines down. It was two takes. It was great. Yes, hire her. Yeah. That's how it works, and everything gets back. Every good actor, every pain in the ass gets back to you. And we hear about it. And, you know, people people call me and ask me about actors I've hired all the time. And I'll give them an honest opinion on whether they were terrific or whether they were a pain in the ass. And you that's how you build your reputation. It's not it's not like the old days anymore where you can't you can get you can get, you know, Hollywood will put up with it. No, as you all well know, it's very everybody's walking on eggshells now. So you've got to be on your best behavior at all times. And make sure that you're you're prepared. You're ready to go in. You're not nervous. You're confident, and let's go. And do your job and go home. You know, don't cause nonsense on the set. Don't talk as you know. Social media has been great, but it's also you know killing careers. Yeah, so, yeah. So, so your job is to is to come in, earn the trust of everybody. Yes, you're worth. Yes, you're fantastic. Yes, you're great. You know, that's how that's how you get more work. That's how you get the repeat business. That's how you build your, your resume and your reputation. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like being a CEO of a company. You have to kind of treat yourself as, as you're one of, you know, one of them or, or be, uh, that's how I see it. You know, it, it you, your, your, um, like you said, your, uh, reputation is everything. And, um, of course your skills and what you can do and accomplish as an actor, but your but people want, they want, they got to want to work with you. Right. Sure, sure. I mean, that's you know, the, the, you're, we're all we're all we're all unique. We're unique individuals. We all have something to offer. Everybody that I've taught up there is 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 different. Is is wonderful. It's fantastic. And you know, and and, and I, I tailor my classes to each individual. Uh, and it's like that's that's the the most challenging thing for me. It's like you know, most people know that you know you get your scenes at two in the morning because that's how late I'm up <laughs> trying to find the perfect scene for you so that I can motivate you so each week you're you're getting better and better and better uh so that when you do and, and and i throw every single scenario that i've experienced as a casting director in my 25 years at you so that when you do get in the room and you do experience it you're not freaking out because you know something's happened like you know when the, when the camera's all the way over there uh -huh. you know and you're over here and you go oh what do i do or you know they're eating their sandwiches while you're in the middle of your audition uh, so it's, it's, there's a lot of things that, that, that can throw you that, that, you know, you have to de deal with on a daily basis as an actor. Um, it's not easy, but it's, it's a fun, great, wonderful, there's no feeling in the world. None at all. There's no, not sex, not drugs, no, none. That's, that's, that, that equals the feeling of being in front of that camera of, 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 you know, when they yell action and cut, there's no feeling in the world. It's like your brain goes on, on, on slow motion and you remember every single bit, every single detail for the rest of your life. So you, you're a young actor. Um, yep. What was your, what's your, uh, uh, like your, your best memory as a young actor um, and, and that you utilize in, in teaching acting? Um, be spontaneous. Uh, that's that's one thing I, I learned from when I worked with uh, Bernardo Bertolucci, the great Italian Academy Award-winning director. He really explored 
you being you, you um, using yourself and your utilities as yourself. He gave me the freedom to be myself and to be spontaneous. And that's one thing, especially now, in in this day and age, in the, in the you know millennials run everything now. So so and I <laughs> and, and I've I've adjusted to many different types of of, of uh, scenarios and, and and methods over over my career. And 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 I love it. I love what what I learned as a young actor and what I what I preach now. And that is to just be spontaneous. What you think is is not going to work is the best thing you could possibly do. I mean, it's like if, you know, if you got to pick your nose, pick your nose. If you got to scratch, scratch. <laughs> you know, oh, I can't, I can't do that because my character wouldn't do that. Yes, yes, you can. Yes, you can. And that's the take that's going to be used. For those of you who ever, uh, you know, shot anything and have edited, you know, you're looking at take after take, and you're and you're going, give me something, give, give me a moment, give me, give me something that that, that that's different, that's uh-huh. that's real, rather than us just saying the lines. So, so I encourage all actors to to really take themselves, enjoy themselves, and stop acting, you know, be you, take the character, sure, you know, get lost in it, and and just to bring a lot of yourself and who you are. I mean, everybody has a uniqueness to them, whether you're, you know, you're, you're Indian or, or Asian or, or, or white or black or, I mean, we're all unique. We're all fantastic. I, I love the class because it's such a, it's, it's like the United Colors of Benetton in there. And it is. So it's wonderful. It's, it's it's fun to it's fun to teach and we all have to be you know really be comfortable with with who we are accept who we are accept the flaws embrace all the 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 flaws that we have and all the the problems that we have embrace them instead of fighting them because once you when you, when you embrace them it's like oh okay i am who i am and screw it uh-huh. so um before my phone dies i have one question <laughs> um so for anybody doing any sort of training, what do you think that they should be looking for or they should get out of a, um, an acting class or an audition class? What would be, um, what should be their focus? Here, here's what I, what I always say, Rosie. I always tell all, all of my, my students, whether they're, they're, especially the new ones, I say, don't just train with me. You know, go, go, you know, go see George, go see Paul, you know, go see, as many as you can, you have to find what works for you. You have to find the person that motivates you. You have to find the teacher that that has earned your trust, and and is the one that will that will take you under their wing and motivate you and and get you to the next level mm-hmm. and make you feel good about what what you're doing. Uh, and 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 sometimes it's me, and sometimes it's somebody else. But you have to find what works for you, which what motivates you. And when you find find that teacher, stick with it, and and and, and away you go. Yeah, got it. Well, thank you, and I'm really looking forward to you coming back. I hope you had a restful vacation. Did you? Yeah, get- yeah, no, it's been nice. It's been nice. Yeah, it's been nice not, not having to get on planes every Tuesday. I'll tell, I'll tell you, I love coming up there, but you know, the plane okay. rides. I need need a break every now and then. Yeah, you know, I, I realized how um, how long I've known you when we when I took your f- workshop the very first time. Um, yeah. You mentioned that you know you just had a baby, or not yeah. you, but you you know your wife did at the time, yeah. and uh, and I oh, thought to myself, we had little babies at the same time, and so I calculate yeah. well Olivia's twelve, <laughs> and I go oh my gosh we've known each other um, uh, eleven years. Yeah. 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 But um, but yeah, I'm, I'm. I hope the kids are doing well and they're getting ready to go back to school. And and I'm looking forward to you coming back and getting back on track again with um, the Bay Area because you know, like you said, so many people are are getting out there and they're booking. They're having. Um, they have so much more confidence. They're not just acting, but they're also developing their own content. They're just you know just right. moving. And that's right. the, the great thing is that's where the confidence comes in. It just, you just allow yourself to just create and um, you can create anywhere. So anyway, yeah, I mean, I mean look, look at what Connie Seacrest is doing. You know, I mean, it's like everybody's just, it's, it's, it's fantastic. You know, it's, mm-hmm. it's, we're all, we're all becoming a part of this, this wonderful new wave of, of talent. You know, that's the, you guys, it's just a new wave and I love it. Yeah. And I too. thank 
and I thank you for, for, for providing this for, for everybody and, and, and this, uh -huh. this wonderful opportunity that you provided for, you know, for all the great students that are watching right now. So thank you all uh, for those of you who are watching right now for, for coming on and listening to me, blah, blah, blah. I can't believe I've cursed once, so I'm, I'm happy about that. <laughs> well, me too. Um, well, not, not about cursing. I'm just used to you cursing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't notice that. Uh, okay. Well, I'll see you later. Thank you. All right. Bye. 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 See you soon. Bye. Ooh, I had 3% left. That was crazy. So um, I'm going to go ahead and, and edit this and put this on YouTube so you guys could um, and, and uh, share the link everywhere. But anyway, um, so there is a couple spots left in Matthew Berry's class here in the San Bruno studio. So if anybody is um, interested and hasn't been to class, uh, I will post the link to register on below on the um, comments. And if you have any questions, you know, feel free to just type them in and we can try and answer them for you. Um, but anyway, you know, because I'm doing this on my laptop for the first time, I can't see any comments. And when I do it on my phone, I can see if somebody has a comment or a question. So I was actually trying to look for that while we were talking so we could actually address some of them. But anyway, um, I'm really excited that he's coming back. He is a wonderful teacher. Wonderful, wonderful. Just really uh, challenges everybody every single week. And he, I believe he has some really cool surprises this August. Um, and um, anyway, uh, come join me uh, at 2 o'clock, and we will talk to Paul Berry then. Bye.